What's going on YouTube? Giosno right here. So in today's video we're talking about the Pawn My Jailbreak. There is a website that is now available and we're going to see if it's the official one and what you should expect. This video is brought to you by AnyTrans, a software that allows you to manage the data on your phone like photos and music and videos and applications but also the data on your iCloud account. Definitely check it out, there's a free version available for both Windows and Mac OS. So somebody sent me here on the Geosno Twitter or FC365 Twitter which is my account a link to this in here, Manticore Web, iOS 14.5 to 14.6 jailbreak. You just press jailbreak and you jailbreak your device. The link is this one here, pawn my whatever dot versal dot app. So I would show you who sent me that, but unfortunately Twitter seems to be broken at this point and it doesn't load absolutely any comment or any profile on computer. Anyways, the Manticore team does exist and the Manticore jailbreak does exist. As you probably know, I made a couple of videos about it in the past. It's made by our pawn in here. Unfortunately their profile also doesn't work because Twitter but I do have it in here. This is their last post they posted this yesterday because some people accuse him of being fake and I would like to clear the air out. They are not fake, they do know what they're doing and the Manticore jailbreak is a real deal. I have been part of the discord on the Manticore discord and I saw what they're doing and they are indeed doing real work. But there do seem to be some people who do not have any patience and accuse him of being fake. Like this person here who said quote what is your advantage in deceiving people we waited a few months for update and of course our opponent replied well the 6th of june apparently was some months ago so let me clear this up pawn my development will be continued as soon as a suitable kernel exploit for matching ios version has been released manticore is still in development and it's almost in patreon beta so in other words there haven't been months since the last update because this project hasn't been up for months but yeah we do need a kernel exploit for that however However, what about this website here? Well, this website here doesn't seem to be present on any of the official Twitter or Discord and stuff like that, so I can only assume this is completely fake. However, the code behind it is legitimate. I'm not sure if it was put together by our pawnage as a test or if somebody else did with the same name just to deceive people. If you press on the jailbreak button, it detects that I'm running on a Mac. And if you look at the code, it's actually quite simple. This is the web page itself and this is the JavaScript powering it. So it's a simple if condition in here if you exclude anything regarding the manipulation of the buttons and it basically detects whether you're running Mac OS and then it detects whether you actually run iOS starting with 14.5 or 14.6. Up until this point nothing wrong in here, they should do detection for Mac OS, you shouldn't be able to just press jailbreak and of course jailbreak Mac OS. So if it's actually iOS it will start a different exploit and if it's actually iOS 14.6 it will do again a different exploit so that's okay. There is the 14.6.javascript which contains the 14.6 webkit exploit and then of course there is the 14.6 one in here that was the 14.5 and then of course this is the 14.6. So the code behind this website is not fake, it does contain the same vulnerabilities that would be used by Manticore. However, this doesn't seem to be the Manticore website, it doesn't seem to be the legitimate website so I can only assume that either somebody stole the name and tried to put together the same thing that the Manticore team does or our opponents created a test website. So if you come across this one in here, pawn my app. do not press jailbreak right now, it's just the WebKit exploit which is indeed legitimate but it doesn't contain any kernel exploit so it wouldn't jailbreak your device but you would run an exploit on your device potentially leaving it in a vulnerable state. So while the code behind it is indeed legitimate, it does contain exploits in here, it does contain some good logic because it does detect the iOS version and it does run the matching exploit for it. This is definitely not a complete jailbreak and is probably not the official one from the Manticore team. Unfortunately none of the profiles work in here so we cannot open them, we cannot see if it's part of any comment. However I did DM the project Manticore and I sent them the link in here so that they can take a look and if it's not actually one of theirs they can take it down. So it's important to keep in mind that while the Manticore team is indeed legitimate and of course our pawnage will indeed deliver a pawn my webkit jailbreak break is definitely going to take time because we don't have the kernel exploit yet and this is only going to work for 14.5 and 14.6 also 14.5.1 for the iOS 14.4 14.4.1 and so on there is no webkit exploit to create this jailbreak yet so when this will be released it will only work for the 14.5 and newer however this is probably not the official website in here so I would definitely not recommend you to use it even though it does seem to have real
real exploits behind it. Until it's confirmed that it belongs to the original team, I would definitely advise you to stay away from it if you find it on the internet. So that's basically it with the Pawn Mai. This is going to be a real Safari jailbreak without computer. You won't need any computer to jailbreak. You don't need to sign any IPAs and stuff like that, but it will still take time before we get a kernel exploit to complete it. So yep, thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.